the conferencing was very tricky. So this was something that took a lot of thought because it's time consuming. So how we set the tri uh, conferencing up is I will take five students, about five students a day, because I know that I have to get through 15 in a week. So I'll try to take, you know, like five students in a day. Um, that gives me leeway if somebody's absent. So I know I have five days to get through 15 students, sometimes maybe three, sometimes four, but the goal is five, I can finish early. Um, for the formal conferencing, which may or may not be student-led. It kind of depends on the situation or what's going on with that child. Um, but I also conference informally constantly. There's always an observation or observations being made um, about students, and I'll right there share, okay, this is what I noticed. You know, you might want to work on that or giving praise, like that's an awesome job, keep up the good work. So we've, we conference formally, we conference informally, um, bi-weekly or daily, just depending on the child. It's part of the fun of conferencing is you learn through conversations with the kids. Some kids actually will just tell you, be like, yeah, I really want to be by myself when I'm trying to work on this type of project. And other kids are like, I want to work with somebody all the time. So it's really easy to support that because we have these conversations with them. So we're not surprised when kids sort of gravitate to each other because they've been doing that all year, yep. you know, and we've had the conversation and we know what they like yeah, and how they, they learn best. best. That's right. Um, at the beginning of the year, our students weren't necessarily able to articulate their own data or articulate their goals or articulate a lot of the things that we were shooting to accomplish by creating these student conferences. So as good teachers, we modeled how conferences should go early on. So we led how a conference should look, what a conference should consist of. We switched them around later in the year and allowed the kids to conference with the adults because they had need to, we want our kids to be able to advocate for themselves and to discuss things for themselves and take ownership of their own data. So in, in switching that, we want to to foster that student agency for students to want to push themselves and work for, for themselves, not work for me. Because if you work for me, what are you going to do next year when I'm not your teacher? Um, but when they can advocate for themselves, that changes the game. It goes from extrinsic motivation to intrinsic motivation. So the students will, will come to the table knowing their data, knowing their information, and they'll lead to discussion on things that they think they can work on, things that they may need help on, how their data makes them feel, and even things that are going outside of, outside of the academic realm, whether it's social, emotional, or behavioral.